ye now share with Christ eternal glory. So we bless him with holy water, special water. Okay, reminds him of the day that he was baptized. All right? I don't want to get your pictures wet. I should introduce myself. I'm Father Ralph Talbot, the pastor right across the street at St. Mary's, and I had the uh, good pleasure of visiting with Bob you know, three years ago out of the house and that very big yard where the grandchildren get to go and play uh, with all the deer. And I bring the Prayers and good wishes of Lori Wyant from our parish, who would bring in communion every week on Sundays for the last few years, I think. All right, let us pray. O oh God, whose nature is always to forgive and to show mercy, we humbly implore you for your servant Bob, whom you have called to journey to you. And since he hoped and believed in you, grant that he may be led to our true homeland to delight in its everlasting joy. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. So today's uh, liturgy is a shortened version, right? It's usually what we'll do after uh, the funeral mass. Uh, but since we're going to have the funeral mass later in the year, we'll kind of uh, do a shortened version here. We'll do the full mass uh, when we're all picked together. Okay. But I brought this reading from the Gospel of John. I think it's always one of the most encouraging readings for us. Jesus said to the crowd, Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and I will not reject anyone who comes to me. Because I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And so, my dear friends, uh, Jesus Christ is risen from the dead. We're still in the Easter season now. We, we rejoice in his resurrection. And he sits at the right hand of the Father, where he intercedes for all of us who are the church. Confident that God hears the voices of those who trust in the Lord, we join our prayers to his. And the response is, Lord, hear our prayer. In baptism, Bob received the light of Christ. May the Lord scatter the darkness and lead him over the waters of death. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Bob was nourished with the Eucharist. May the Lord welcome him into the halls of the heavenly banquet. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Bob's family, and his friends, and all those who are joining us, uh, may they know, may all of you know the consolation and peace of the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for the sick and the suffering, for their caregivers, and in a special way for all those who cared for Bob. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the men and women currently serving in our armed forces, that they would serve honorably, be protected from all harm. And return safely to their families who anxiously wait for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all those like Bob, our veterans, that they may be given the respect and the care that they have earned through their service. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our doctors and nurses and healthcare workers, first responders, and those whose job puts them at risk, that they would be protected from this virus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray especially for Bob's grandchildren, uh, he, that they would know how much Grandpa loved you, right, and how much fun he had with you, taking you on trips, that you would grow up always and have great memories of Grandpa. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those who have gone before us in death, may they now be together in the presence of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our shelter and our strength, listen in love to the cry of your people. Hear the prayers we offer for our departed brother. Be merciful to him, forgive him any sins he may have committed, and welcome him into the joys of heaven. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now pray that prayer that Jesus himself gave to us. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. This is the prayer of commendation. Trusting in God, we pray together for Bob, and we come to the last farewell here today. There is sadness in parting, but we take comfort in the hope that one day we shall see him again and enjoy his friendship. Although we disperse in sorrow, the mercy of God will gather us together again in the joy of his kingdom. Therefore, we console one another in the faith of the risen Jesus. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. And may his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. In your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother Bob in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, you will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon him in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ. And are with you and with our brother Bob forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. You've been holding your breath the whole time, have you? <laughs>